Uh, hi, my name is Felipe Maza, and this is Unit 4, Activity 3, Assignment 1, The Best of Me in the Future. And in this video, I'll be discussing what I believe will happen to me and be making informed predictions and projections in 5 years' time, 10 years' time, 15 years' time, and 20 years' time. <clears throat> I'll be using my my learning skills, the skills that I've learned at my co-op at RHP Training Center, as well as my academic pathway that I set in one of the previous assignments. So I'm just going to start it off right away. In five years time I believe that I'll be able to be accepted into McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario because at the way that I'm at the, the way that I'm going right now is in school is that I've been able to achieve high marks in most of my classes because of my work habits and that is that I'm a hard worker and I'm I'm able to study hard for any test or any exam that's coming up. Um, hopefully I'd be able to get accepted to McMaster because of this and uh, I would be accepted into the chemical engineering program and I'm very interested in this program because it's it's just something that sparked my curiosity and I looked into it and it turned out that it really really interested me and so I thought I'd pursue it and so the things that engineers would need to do well in to be able to accept, be accepted into a university would be math, science, your physics, that type of thing. So obviously since I'm just in grade 9 right now, there wouldn't be any physics yet, but there still is math and science. And in those two classes, I do believe that I had high marks as I had a 95, I believe, in science and a 95 in math. So, and I accomplished those goals, or those grades, simply by by studying hard for any tests that were coming up, any quizzes, and when it came exam time I had all my tests ready, uh, they were all organized, I had all my notes together, and I reviewed them every night and made sure that I knew exactly what I needed to know, that way I could knock my exam out of the park. Um, I believe that I'd be able to continue these work habits and be able to continue the way that I'm going throughout grade 10, 11, and 12, so that way when it comes time for physics or for actual chemistry, not just grade 9 chemistry, I'd be able to excel in those those classes and be able to get high marks so that when the universities look at me, especially McMaster obviously, they'd be able to have a lot of interest in having me at their school and that they would accept my application. So I would definitely follow my possible pathway that I had set in the previous assignment for achieving a, a an acceptance into a university and I'd follow that pathway to a T so that I could get accepted into McMaster and ultimately achieve my goal. In 10 years time I believe that I would have a chemical engineering job. Now if unless things change in Sudbury in 10 years time which definitely is possible but unless things change in 10 years time I would most likely have to move away from Sudbury because of the fact that right now in Sudbury there aren't really many chemical engineering jobs available so I would probably have to move to a high population area like Toronto or Ottawa to find a job in chemical engineering unless things change in 10 years. I believe I'm able to to do this because if I would keep working hard at everything that I was doing and I'd be able to achieve that that degree in chemical engineering I should be able to gain a job pretty easily if I had those same work habits that I had in five years time. At uh, at RHP Training Center Co-op, they they gave me a lot of a lot of skills that I needed to learn. For instance, organization. I had to uh, sort in alphabetical order waiver forms that players needed to sign to be able to play hockey at RHP. So I believe that organization skill is just one of the many that I've that I've gathered and that would definitely help me in university when I'm studying for an exam, a test or a midterm, anything like that, so that I can do well on that test, exam, midterm, assignment, whatever, and it ultimately pass university with flying colors. That way I can get a job in ten years time in a chemical engineering firm. Um also, another thing that's happened to me has been that since I'm able to work hard at everything that I've done, I'm I'm almost positive I'd be able to continue that hard work throughout 
10 years and be able to work at everything that's been throwing my way so that I can so I can do this. I mean, if there was a job opportunity available and I had to get a job interview, I mean, I've never had one right now, but I'm, I'm almost positive that in 10 years I'll have at least one job interview. So I'll be able to, to work at how to make my interview skills better so that I can be able to be accepted into that job. And that way I can work at everything that they give me. I mean, at RHP, they gave me tasks and I had to learn them quickly, which that's given me a lot of a lot of experience in that, and I've had to learn skills quickly, which I, I can do now, instead of having them explain it to me two or three times. So I'm able to do that, and that would help me quite a bit in passing university and getting a job, because I'd be able to work hard at things to get them done, and that would give me a job quite easily. Uh, in 15 years' time, I believe that I would have a managerial position at that job that I was talking about in 10 years' time. I believe this is possible because, once again, going back to my learning habits and my, my skills that I have, is that I'm a hard worker. So if I'm working hard at a job for five years, I think that it's definitely reasonable that I'd be able to achieve a managerial position because any job that's been given my way, I'd be able to, to learn. Even if it's a job that I don't know, I'd be able to learn the skills pretty quickly because I've had to do that at my co-op placement and it's given me quite a bit of experience and I definitely am able to do that so to become a manager I think is definitely possible within 15 years time at that job if I just keep my work habits positive and I keep working hard at everything that I do I would also most likely after five years time create another educational or not educational but occupational pathway that way I know what I need to achieve to accomplish these goals that I've set for myself for 15 years ahead in the future. Uh, I think it's definitely possible. I mean, I'm also, since my placement is working with kids, I've been able to learn a lot of organizational, I've been had to use communication skills, and I've even had to use leadership skills, which you absolutely need as a manager. Um, I also had to be, well not had to be, but I was the captain on my on my team, so I've had to be thrown into situations where I needed to make a, sorry, I need to make a decision that would work for my for the people that I'm a, I'm leading, and so that would help me tremendously in the job front as a manager because that's exactly what you have to do. You have to lead people that you're supposed to be in charge of, which I think is. I'm able to do that because of those leadership skills and communication is key as a manager because you have to communicate with your workers with other firms to make decisions and I've learned how to explain things and break them down so that it's definitely easy to understand after working with kids and I think it's it's a skill that I would definitely need not so much breaking it down a lot because these are obviously adults so I wouldn't need to break it down into terms that are really really easy to understand like I have to do for kids but to be able to break things down and make it easier for people to understand is a skill that I've learned and it's it would definitely be able to help me to become a manager and uh, if I keep working hard and keep that that skill and that sorry that video got cut off but if I keep working at that skill and keep using that mentality <clears throat> then I think it's within reasonable to be able to have that manager position in 15 years time. In 20 years time, finally, I think that it, I would be able to achieve the maximum salary that a chemical engineer can make, and that is $130,000 a year. Um, I believe this is definitely possible because if I'm a manager at 15 years time, if I keep working really hard at it and keep working well like I am to become the manager, then five years would definitely be a reasonable time limit to be able to have that high salary and to be able to be at that high leadership position with a lot of trust placed in me and I think it's it's something that definitely needs to be accomplished and it's a good personal goal that I'd like to set for myself um, uh, if I keep using those hard-working skills like I, like I continuously keep saying if I keep using those skills in every aspect of my life it will it will help me ultimately because Anything that you need to accomplish, you need to work hard to, to get done. And any skill that you learn, you need to work hard to get it better. 
anything that you do, you need hard work, and I believe that I have that ethic and I work work habit, and it's definitely something that I can do. And so for 20 years to be able to have that high salary, I think is possible. It's within reason. It's likely whatever word you want to use for it. I think it's definitely possible. And it's a goal that I'm going to set for myself. And it's a personal goal that I hope to accomplish. And it's one that I look forward to accomplishing if I do. So these have all been my projections about my f what I believe will happen in my future in 5 years, 10 years, 15, and 20 years time. If I keep following those goals that I have set for 5 years, 10 years, 15, 20 years, I believe I'll be able to accomplish them if I keep working at my goals and I keep working on m improving myself and making my habits better and making my learning skills better if I follow the pathways that I've set the new ones and the one that I've just set and I use educational resources and make educational resources I definitely think that it's possible to be able to do this and so I will be working quite a bit to try and get this done as well I'll be working for 20 years to try and get these goals accomplished and I hope to accomplish them in 20 years and accomplish them as much as I can to the fullest potential. So this has been Unit 4, Activity 3, Assignment 1, The Best of Me in the Future. Thanks for listening.